Over the past few weeks, I've been beta testing a uh, plugin for Final Cut Pro X developed by Nick Shaw over at Antler Post Production Services. The plugin is a great uh, workflow tool for any Final Cut Pro X user who is dealing with footage from the Blackmagic Cinema camera. It started out as a simple tool for viewing Apple ProRes footage as Rec. 709 um, that was originally shot on the Blackmagic Cinema camera in film log mode. This is very similar to Nick's popular plugin for viewing ARRI Alexa Log C footage in Rec. 709 in Final Cut Pro 7. As it's been developing, Nick has added some really useful features that make this plugin really worthwhile owning if you're working with Blackmagic Cinema camera footage. So what does the plugin do? In its simplest application, the plugin applies the same Rec. 709 LUT that is available in DaVinci Resolve to your ProRes film log footage, all without leaving the Final Cut Pro X timeline. In addition to this, Nick has included a few simple sliders that give you some added control and speed up your workflow. Many of these adjustments can be made with the built-in color correction tools within Final Cut Pro X, but it's handy to have all of these controls in one place, and they're really simple to use. So let's have a look at each of these controls. First off, there's an exposure slider that lets you simply fine-tune your overall exposure. Next up are the temperature and tint sliders. These are very useful as the Blackmagic Cinema camera does not have a way of setting the white balance manually. You only have six presets to choose from, and sometimes your lighting conditions may fall between two of those presets. These two sliders allow you to make those fine adjustments to get your color balance spot on. Next we have the saturation slider. Simply applying a straight Rec. 709 LUT to log footage can sometimes produce results that are very saturated, or in some case not saturated enough. This is a nice way to find your preferred look. The next slider is the pedestal slider. This is for fine tuning your black point without changing your exposure. If you've made adjustments to your exposure or any other adjustments, you may find that your blacks become crushed or that your blacks have lifted. The slider lets you pin those blacks back where you want them. Nick has included a range option that allows you to select between 100% broadcast safe or 109%, similar to how many Sony cameras record their footage. The last slider is the mix slider. This simply lets you mix your results with the original log footage. Many people like that milky look that you get from log footage, but often want to adjust the contrast slightly or add a bit of saturation. This slider is useful for those looking for something between Rec. 709 and log. Right, now you know what the plugin does, let's look at it applied to some footage. All of this footage was shot in ProRes film log mode, and the only color correction we've applied is those available within the plugin. that's been useful. If you're interested in the plugin, get in touch with Nick Shaw over at antlerpost.com. Thanks for watching.